today's gonna be a good day. We are officially at the Greensboro, North Carolina Food Truck Festival. Well, hold on, hold on. Yo, somebody arm just stinking. Oh shit, yo, that's, that's, that's pretty bad. Finally in Greensboro, North Carolina at the Food Truck Festival. Ladies and gentlemen, there are 50 food trucks here today in Greensboro, North Carolina, and we're gonna be trying all 50. Yes! I'm lying like him. I might not try all 50, but we're gonna try as many as we can until I bust wide open like a can of biscuits, all right? So can we go eat now? All right, so I don't even know which food truck I'm gonna try first, because it's like a whole lot of food trucks out here. There's a line everywhere. Let me just show an example for a second. You got that restaurant right there, right? See that right there? The line is like way back there. Come on, come on, come on. That was pretty good, man. He did about, shit, what, like, what's that, 15, 20, 30? They go up to 20. 15. He did pretty good. I couldn't get my fat ass up to the dude too, so he did better than I did. So I think we have reached a destination. We're gonna try Tipsy No Cocktail Ice. All right, so from reading the food truck, this is an alcohol-infused popsicles, right? Absolutely. What is the fan favorite here? The Sex on the Beach is our best seller, but the uh, John Daly has been the most popular today. What does that come with? It's like a uh, Arnold Palmer, you know, your sweet tea vodka and lemonade. Oh, yes. But it's yes, the uh, John Daly, the alcoholic wrapper. Appreciate it. Yep. All right, cool. So we got the alcohol-infused popsicle. The only thing that sold me this popsicle right here is he said Arnold Palmer. That is the top seller, in my opinion, that would get me to buy anything. Let's just go ahead and try, shall we? Mmm. Mmm. Hey, look. It is cold. But you can definitely taste the alcohol in this right here. And on top of that, man, it's like... It's really sweet, too. Damn, y'all did y'all thing on this. Sheesh. And it's on... Oh, my God. It's only 80 calories, y'all. Shout out to everyone that's watching their calories, watching this video. You can actually have one of these. And be safe. Get it, get it, get it, uh. Great job, though. So before we get into our next food truck uh, eating, I just want to ask something. And please feel free to comment in the comments below. I don't understand what it is about Greensboro, North Carolina, whatever the case is, but I've been seeing a lot of people out here wearing hoodies, sweatshirts, freaking sweatpants, and 90 degree weather. What's up with that? Please let me know in the comments below. So I secured yet another bag, and we're gonna go eat on this bus right here. Runaway B party tour. tour bus and I'm gonna let you guys actually I'll tell you I'm gonna have her talk to you for a second so just let the people know where you at where they can book and stuff like that we're located downtown Greensboro you can book on the website at runawaybpartytour.com it's $25 a person you can have up to 13 people and a minimum of seven basically you just tell us where we want you want to go we'll drop you off pick you up and ride you around downtown Greensboro and it's completely roofless hey daddy crab See, and she was nervous. She did a great job, right? So I got what's called the bussing. Uh, it's $14 from a food truck down here at the food truck festival. As you guys can see here. Oh, yeah. Looking good, ain't it? Uh-huh. This has shrimp, artichoke, uh, lettuce, pico. Uh, I'm not even sure what this is right here. I don't know. Let's just try it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's hot, though. So I got the bussing because I use the word bussing like 50 million times a day, so it's only right to get this. Man, the presentation on this is busting. So the chicken fried lobster tails was straight bust. This is actually pretty good, but for $14, woo, that's steep. I guess I can understand because of the shrimp and the artichoke heart, but that's a bit expensive. But when it comes to taste, this is definitely a good quality soft taco. This is my first time having not only artichoke hearts, but fried artichoke hearts. So it's been a pretty good experience. So shout out to West. Coast Wonder and the Runaway B Party Tour Bus. Yes, I'll them too. See y'all at the next stop. Hey man, I just wanna let you guys know I love y'all. Like, right? I'm gonna tell you how you should know that I love you. It is 95 degrees out here in downtown Greenville, North Carolina, and I'm sweating everywhere you can imagine possible. And I mean everywhere. So yeah, I love y'all and uh Pray for me, all right? So the next food truck that's on the radar is something called Nothing But Love. Got nothing but love for you, baby. 
Yeah, so I was gonna try nothing but love that food truck, but as I was asking the guy, can I interview him? He said, you do know that there's customers behind you, right? Came off kind of rude, so I just walked away. Let's go to the next food truck. Oh! I got my homegirl V in the building. What's hey. up? With What's up with you? Oh, oh. Man, there's a lot of people out here. Hey, listen, you know, I'm not sure if I told you guys, but I plan on doing 10 food trucks today. Today, huh? I tried to eat everywhere, but it's 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 the lines are too long. How y'all doing though? Good. What's up? Thanks, guys, for your support. Thank Appreciate it. You. Yeah, yeah, man. Hey, how you doing? Say thanks to the camera. No, hey, I like watching your video. Appreciate you. Thanks for your support. Thanks. But yeah, man. So I was gonna do like ten food trucks today. I'm not feeling that right now. Lines are too long. I'm a, I, I got probably about two more left in me right now. So yeah, sit back, relax, and uh oh, excuse me, enjoy the uh, review. This right here is Wings and Wheels. Just want you guys to see that right there. Hope you guys can hear me because there's a whole performance going on behind me, which I'm gonna show you guys that later. This right here was only like, I wanna say like $8. And the wings are like really big too. According to Wings and Wheels, this is the award winning sauce. Let's go ahead and try it out. Oh, these busting now. You know, I can see why they call these award winning. Very sweet. The wings are nice and tender. They're hot. Nice little crunch game to them. Not bad at all. They're not overpriced like some of these food trucks are down here today. Put this out to Wings and Wheels, man. They're here pretty good. Uh, Ow. Uh oh, he's still going. He said he does it. Alright, give it up. Woo! Give it up for our new challenges. Good job. Hard work, man. Appreciate it. You know, I'm actually glad I got this guy on camera. This guy right here deserves cop of the year. There was a lady that was actually having a seizure in front of the food truck, and this cop right here got on his hands and his freaking knees and stayed on his knees for about 30 minutes to help this lady out until 911 came and went out on the stretcher. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you see this cop around, Give them kudos. And cop, if you're watching this freaking video, just know that you represent the Greensboro Police Department with class. Thank you so much. Have a good day. So what's this place that's giving away free water? Um, I kind of want you guys to check it out. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. So I got a question, man. What do you guys represent today? We represent the City Kitchen, which is a commercial kitchen for food businesses. We're here to support food businesses in any stage of development. Startups to tenure businesses. We have a kitchen and equipment and space for lease for all. Where are you guys based out of? We're based out of Charlotte, North Carolina. Charlotte, North Carolina. Okay. And you guys have a, a station here in Greensboro? We are opening in Greensboro in three weeks. We also have the training business. All food businesses need to be served safe certified. We uh -huh. can train you. We can get you the certification you need to get going in your food industry. And provide you everything you need to start your food business. Sounds pretty good, right? Thanks. All right, thanks guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. Dude is actually, he's pretty legit, man. I don't know who he is, but shout out to him. He can really sing. Yeah, I just passed by this right here. It's a beautiful rabbit that's in this, this is like a Buzz Lightyear type thing. I guess you could call it his spaceship. That's what I be calling it. Well, that's our little spaceship, man. That is, that is so cool. So it's this uh, Kiara's Help Us Make a Butterfly Foundation. Just so you guys can know, you guys can definitely uh, donate to help domestic violence and homeless incarceration, all right? All right, so uh, what is the, well, for one, what's your business? Uh, Emergency Sweets uh, food truck. So sir. what is the top seller here? Uh, today it's frozen dip uh, chocolate cheesecake. Frozen dip chocolate cheesecake? Yes, sir. How? I'm just curious. What we do is we make a New York style cheesecake and we freeze it. We dip uh, Italian chocolate on top. Just love that man's shirt right there. It's kind of home, man, because I never, and I mean never, start my diet on Monday. There you go. Appreciate it, man. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Check this out. This is a chocolate dip cheesecake. I mean, I'm sorry, cheesecake. And it's from uh, Emergent Emergent Sweets. So I'm not a really big chocolate fan, but I'm a huge cheesecake fan, right? This right here costs about $7. As you guys can see right here, presentation on this right here is marvelous. Let's just try. Oh, this is really different. This right here, if you guys ever had a Klondike bar, this reminds me of a Klondike bar. But he did say this is a New York style cheesecake. And uh, I gotta tell you, it is nice in size and it's every bit worth the $7. The fact that this is different and it's frozen, I've never in my life had a frozen chocolate cheesecake. What surprised me most about this is you would think that this is like really sweet because it has chocolate swirls and it's cheesecake. 
it's really not. This is actually really good. It may not be healthy for you, but I could definitely binge eat this and really get fat. So if you guys see the food truck right there, the emergency sweets, you guys check it out, man. They're pretty good. I hope you guys can hear me, but as I was going to the last restaurant, I met this 11 year old that has her own business and she got it going on. All right, so how old are you? 12, almost 12. Almost Three okay. months. What type of business do you have? A slime business. Explain it to me, what's a slime business? You mix activator, which is, I use Elmer's, and then you mix glue and you make slime, and then what I do is I add to it and I make it creative, and I can also do customs. At only 12 years old, it's amazing. Where can, um, where can everybody follow you at? You can follow me on Instagram at Tay Tay Slime, Slimey yeah. Slime. Gotcha, appreciate it. Thank you. You know, I said I was gonna leave here about five o'clock. It is now almost eight o'clock and I'm really tired. But before we leave today, man, I got Safari Eats right here. This is looks like uh, it's a samosa with ice cream and inside the samosa is apples. Let's try it out. Oh, good. This literally tastes like an apple pie. I'm just confused as to why they gave me this samosa with melted ice cream. Fuck yeah. I mean, it's good and all, but yeah. For eight dollars, I would love to have some fresh ice cream, not melted. However, it's been a long day for all of us. Long day for Safari Eats, long day for me, long day for my legs. So I get it, you're probably just tired. But I'm gonna go ahead and say this. This is actually really good. I never had a samosa with apples in it. And I would definitely recommend those watching this video to try this out, because this one here is pretty good. Oh, all right, so the cops are here, it's time to go. Just wanna say I thank y'all for tuning in. I'm tired, my stomach's hurting, I'm but. I think I'm gonna leave on that note. Uh, my feet are tired. Thank you guys for tuning in for the vlog, and I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys later.